Hello everyone, it's Boxing Day, it's Match Day, and it's also Manchester United versus Aston Villa at Old Trafford today. And sometimes I will be, I think earlier this season, I'm excited when there's Match Day, but right now I'm no longer excited because what I'm witnessing from Manchester United is actually very, very worrying. I can't recognize my team anymore, just like how uh, DJ Job has said it on Chelsea last season. <laughs> I can't bloody recognize my team anymore, so I am no longer happy when there is match day. The only reason why I'm happy is just boxing day. It's absolutely boxing day. But my nature will be welcoming Aston Villa. Aston Villa, they are a team that are higher than us in the Premier League table. They are doing very well, well with Junior M, with his squad, workings, and the players of Aston Villa, they are working as a team with the manager, and they are doing very, very well. I think after Aston Villa, we will be playing nothing for us before the 2023 runs at and it is actually very very difficult to predict my United to win this game I'm gonna be real I'm gonna be honest to you so I won't give my United a win because I know because it's against Aston Villa I don't see my United winning the game if it's against Luton Town or maybe against um, Sheffield I might say we, 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 might, we might win the game maybe one day but since it's against my United I would obviously be honest I'm a Manchester United fan with all my life, my entire life on this earth, I'm in my United fan. But I won't predict my United to win the game. I will absolutely won't predict them. So, my belief for the club, my hopes, I'm, uh, it's actually very, very down right now. So, obviously, I tell you, here is my preferred and predicted lineup to face. Um, as of the line, obviously, Tian does what he wants. So, it's just my preferred lineup. It's no longer predicted because Tian. Is always doing what he wants, even though even though the entire teammates, the entire staffs, they all see this and point this out that this is not working. Tiang will still continue with that, and I think that if you continue like that, we'll be getting inside. Just like the McTominay obsession, just like removing Oiland and putting Rashford, who is not who is not playing football, just like just like not having great tactics time will still continue with the tactics of not playing too dm for living and meet with their stool time will still continue with that and i feel that should be so so i want i want to obviously make a lot of changes from that our game against um against west ham i want to make changes i'm just gonna go with the entire lineup of we use against west ham i'm just what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna remove a mabat get that Remove a Marbat. Ah, sorry. I'm just gonna remove McTominay. I'm up to see remove McTominay and put in Sophia and Marbat. Final. So here is it. That's what I'm gonna do. Onana, Wamisaka, uh, Kamwala, Johnny Elvis, Luke Shaw, Mino. And my bad, Bruno up front. I don't want to see Bruno funny back. Bruno up front. Uh, Oilon, Ganacho is absolutely struggling. Anthony is absolutely struggling. Our attacker is struggling. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because that game against West Ham, the entire team, they tried their best, but I can only point one player that did very, very, very bad, which is Scott McTominay. The rest players actually give, gave us average performance, but Scott McTominay was very, very worse. If I was getting my, if I would get him, I'm not getting 2 out of 10. Maybe even something less than 2 out of 10. That is what would be my rating for Scott McTominay, because that was bullshit. That was shambolic performance from him. It was actually very, very shambling from Scott McTominay for giving that kind of performance for your United fans. It, 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 it was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy for Scott McTominay giving us that performance. The reason why I'm doing this, I want to play, I want to see my and my mother playing alongside each other in that midfield. My United would never put to DM. Why? Can I see that Liverpool game? I know there was no Bruno Fernandes to create because we didn't create enough because of Scott McTominay. But you can see, just look at that partner I mentioned against Liverpool. You can see Manu and Amama playing alongside each other. Liverpool couldn't break through our midfield and they couldn't run through our back four. They couldn't score a single goal. Unlike last season where they, where they put, when they put seven pass on one net. They couldn't score a single goal just because we have two midfield pivot, to have the midfield pivot, to have two DM. And that is how it should be. 
He worked against Copenhagen. He worked against um Liverpool. Why won't he work against? Why won't he work against Aston Villa? If he's put McTominay in the starting eleven, that is how we're gonna lose the game. That is absolutely how we're gonna lose the game because Bruno Fernandes will not be there to make the passes. He will be falling too deep to accommodate McTominay for leaving the space. He will try to cover the space for McTominay and let our entire midfield up uh, expose. Can want time to do this? Play Mino, play um Amabat and play Bruno up front. Bruno, to date, Bruno is still one of the greatest player in the Premier League this season, last season, for the entire time he has been in the Premier League. I will still say this comfortably that our best player puts Alex Ferguson is Bruno Fernandes. But this season, every time tactics is not making him to bring the best player out of him. They don't bring that best player out of him just because of the tactics of not letting Bruno be in at number 10. Bruno is not a number eight. He's not a DM. Stop, stop, stop pulling him back to accommodate uh, uh, McTominay, who is leaving the space. So, I don't want to broadly see McTominay in that, in that line. No, he should be dropped. He deserves to be dropped. He absolutely deserves to be dropped. So, I want to see this midfield here. I don't want to see McTominay near the starting eleven. Over anything near the bench, I don't want to see him. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be absolutely weak with you because he's not helping the team in any aspect, in any way. He's absolutely not helping the team. And look at my defensive line. I know Kamala is there. I don't just know if um, Van will be fit. Even if Van will fit, I'll put Van in the second half. Let Kamala, Kamala start. I think Kamala and Johnny have had a great link up. Um, had a great link up against West Ham. So let us continue with that. So kudos to Kamala. I did well against... West Ham, um, that's why I'm putting him this starting level. Like, if if Tank puts Van, anyways, it won't change anything like that. It might change a little bit because he had the experience more than Kamala, he had everything more than Kamala. It will change a little a bit, a little bit. But if Kamala starts, if Van starts, it's none of my business. I think it will not be nothing, there will not be any difference in that. There will absolutely not be any I'm not comparing Van with him, but I feel. Even if there is a difference, it's gonna be a little slight difference. So here is my defensive line, here is my um midfield and um my front line will have oil on who haven't scored a Premier League yet. Why am I always saying this? Like an introduction to us myself. No? Yeah, I haven't still scored a Premier League goal yet. <laughs> you haven't. And and you know what? I just want you to just score a goal before the year runs out. I just want you to score a goal. Please, Ireland, we need you to score. We absolutely need you to score. I know it's not your fault. The stand tactics is not supporting you. Tank tactics is not supporting Ireland. Our wingers are so selfish. And um, Bruno Fernandes is not playing in that position. It's not your fault, as Mr. Ireland. You scored fucking five Champions League goals this this the same season he scored five Champions League goals. You are still the joint top scorer in the Champions League. It's absolutely not your fault, as much earlier. It's not your bloody fault. Is dang the players for not giving you the chances for you to score and put the ball at the back of your net. It's not your fault, as much So I'll obviously start you. And if you have any chances, please. Don't miss it for us. Score the goal. I want to celebrate your first Premier League goal. We are damn tired of all these shows coming from rivals fans. We are damn tired of all these memes. We need it to score. Please, Oilon, score for us. So, yes, my attack line. I know it's very hard to put Antonio and Ganacho, but we don't have another attackers. I'm not going against Ganacho because I was praising him recently, but. But, um. He's struggling. He's struggling to keep his form. He's struggling. He's absolutely struggling. He's struggling. Anthony trying to do his defensive work. I think he's helping us in def- defensive work. Helping us have a balance with dialogue, having us have a balance with one Bissaka. I think he's absolutely helping us, but he needs to focus more on his attack. Stop bringing the ball to your left and leaving that, uh, that outside of the pitch empty. Run there and make a cross. Just run there and make a cross to Ireland. So this is my preferred lineup to face um as of that with Shafford. So let me know your thoughts what changes will you make? Will you remove any player putting on another player? What the changes you are gonna make from this lineup? So let me know your honest thoughts on the conversation guys. I wouldn't stick where this my United to win the game. The fires I can I can do is just to say a draw. Maybe a one one draw. 
I think working to score, maybe a one one draw. I think Ireland needs to score. So I will go with a one one draw against Aston Villa. That is my prediction. I can't predict my United to win. I absolutely can't. I think Tiang will be in pressure against uh Aston Villa since Sajima Flat is here now. He will absolutely be in the pressure. will be in it will be in pressure to win the game. He wants to win the game. So I will still go with a one one draw. I can't I bloody can't predict my United to win. It's very, very hard to predict match United to win. So let me your honest thoughts on the match session, guys. Hope you are good with the nine ups. Let me know changes you are gonna make, and I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy your festive season. Merry Christmas to you, and it's Boxing Day. It's actually magic. Today is the day, but I am not happy because I I feel that my United will. I feel that match United will upset us and disappoint us. So I'm not putting my hopes on match United winning. But enjoy your day, guys.